Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter reflection. In those days, the word of God increased and multiplied. And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had completed their service, bringing with them John, whose name was Mark. So they were in Antioch, serving the Lord. And they, they were serving there for about one year. And now they are coming back from, from there. And see how they were journeying. The Holy Spirit was, the Holy Spirit was leading them, city to another, and uh, appointing people, strengthening them. So that's the part of the word. So it's a new creation with the word and the spirit. So in the beginning, if you read carefully, Genesis chapter 1, there was the spirit holding the earth and the word was spoken and there was new creation. The same way, Holy Spirit and word of God will create, a, create power. So it, 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 it is power. So that's exactly why, what they were experiencing, my dear friends. Now, they were in the church at Antioch now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manon, a lifelong friend of Herod, the treasure, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and while they were worshipping the, worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me. Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So how beautifully the direction is done in fasting and in worship. So this is exactly the importance of the connection. Always we discuss about it, share with you about it. So in worship, you give your life, surrender your life to the Lord. In fasting, you you curtail the flesh, all your feelings, and not by sight but by faith, things happen in the spirit. So fasting and prayer is one, is very important in the journey with the Holy Spirit. So in your decision making, my dear friends, it's important that you come to a dagger point, come to a decisive point, you, you fast and pray. So ask the Lord to lead. So how open they were to listen to the voice like that. And the Holy Spirit, of course, definitely became their paraclete, the friend who stood for them and journeyed with them. It's important, my dear friends. So exactly how, while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So set, up, set apart from me. Holy Spirit is, is a person, is a friend. Now the word of Jesus is actualized in the act uh, the, in the in the in the word in the acts of the Holy Spirit. So word is made complete. In the action of the Holy Spirit. Now it's I. So he's, he's journeying with them, directing them. It's my work to spread the word, what continued, what started with the intention of God the Father, and word is spoken through Jesus, and the Holy Spirit is the action. It's like the mind, mouth, and hand concept of love it is spoken in the word and it's done in your, in your, in your action it's a beautiful joint work they're all intertwined interconnected it's beautiful isn't it my dear friends so set apart for me for me barnabas and saul for the work to which i call them so so we need on and off this kind of reminder this kind of pinching, 
redirecting. So in prayer and fasting, you control your feelings. In prayer and fasting, you discern the will and you get the direction again. That is important. That's of great importance. So then what happened? Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So how they were sent? Prayer, fasting and praying, laying the hand is, is, is like giving the power for the mission. This is the community. The community, communitarian prayer. Community praying for them. And they, 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 are, they are leaving, they are moving on. It's the body, parts of the body connect to the head, through the Holy Spirit, the veins, nerves. They lay their hands on them and send them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Celasia and from where they are, they called, they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. So they are being led by the Holy Spirit, like the wind, gliding. I mean, like the, those who are led by the Spirit, are, they are like a wind. They don't know from where they are going, from there, from there they are coming, and where they are going. It's a clear direction. So that's exactly why the Lord is saying today, whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. So Holy Spirit said, it's my work. Of course, it's not only his work. That work is spoken by Jesus and it is the intention of the Father. So they are so connected, so strongly connected. You cannot separate it. So moment you are connected to the word and you are connected, you are connected to the Trinity, the will of the God, will of the Lord, will of the Father and the word of Jesus and execution of the Holy Spirit. And you're connected to the kingdom, the purpose, the divine purpose. So that's why, exactly why he's saying, and who sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come to this world as light so that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. So belief comes through, through word. When the word is spoken, you will believe the word. So then with faith, you will journey. So the Lord is saying, I have not come. If anyone hears my word and does not keep them, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world. But rather, the word that I have spoken will judge him on the last day. My dear friends, so the word, in the first reading of the early Christian community, how the word was powerful. And here, the Jews, they are not ready to accept the word of Jesus. For I have not spoken on my own authority. See the, see the Trinitarian connection. But the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment, what to say and what to speak. So it's all connected, isn't it? Father, Son and the Spirit. So Old Testament Father and now it's New Testament Jesus and early Christian community and today, Holy Spirit. It's all connected work, a joint work. And I know that this commandment is eternal life. What I say, therefore, I say as the Father has told me. So it's a prompting of the Father spoken by Jesus and actualized by the Holy Spirit. So the, the connecting thing is the word. Word thought, word spoken, word in action. So then we, we join the body of Christ, the church, to execute, fulfill the will of the Father spoken by Jesus and realize what with the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you.